Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock. Now, here with us today, we happen to have an LG Stylo 6 that is originally from Metro here in the U.S., Metro by T-Mobile, also formerly known as Metro PCS, and this is a device that does indeed have the Google Lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset, and to continue, we have to sign in with a previous Google account that was on the device. And that's basically essentially what the Google Lock consists of. Google added it as a security measure back in about Android 5 or so to help combat some of the theft and fraud that happens around the buying and selling of used mobile devices these days. So so when a device is factory reset without first removing the Google account that's on it, it's then going to ask you to log into that same account again as a security measure after the factory reset has been performed. So only the previous account will actually let you log in. You're not able to get in with just any Google account. So we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or couldn't recover their login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled, and then after the purchase was completed, the buyer found that the lock was enabled and they didn't have the login information to get back in, and the seller had long since disappeared. So it's unfortunately a very common scam that happens these days when it comes to the buying and selling of phones and tablets. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this specific model, and that's actually exactly what we're doing right here, right now, while it is plugged in, just as proof that we can actually do it so that you can actually see the before and after status. Now, the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world, so you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect directly to your computer right through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we're doing right here right now. The procedure is going to take about another 30 seconds or so to finish up here, and then after the phone restarts, we should be able to see that we can indeed now get all the way through the setup steps without seeing that Google lock. If it's going to take more than another 30 seconds or so, I'm just going to fast forward the rest of the video just so we can keep this as short and sweet as possible. Okay, there we go. We should be all set here. The device is indeed restarting, and like I said, we should be able now to get all the way through the setup process without seeing the Google lock screen. Okay, so those are welcome screens, so we're just going to start going through here step by step. We're going to skip the whole SIM card thing. It's going to check for some updates. We don't need to copy any apps and data, so we're just going to skip that part. It's going to check some info here. And now, actually, you'll notice that it's prompting us to sign in with any Google account instead of, us, instead of giving us that message where we had to have the previous one. So that is a very good sign. We're just going to skip that part for now, though, and keep going. Skip through the Google services. We're not going to set up a screen lock, so we're just going to skip that. And we don't need any extra apps, so we are going to just hit OK and keep going. 
And then the last finishing touches here. Have to agree to the terms and conditions. And then I think we should be all set. Yep, we've got the home screen loading up here. We now have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on it. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So under About, we can indeed see here that we have an LG Stylo 6, and then that model number there, the Q730MM. That is what uniquely identifies it as the model from Metro, obviously, as you saw during the boot-up sequence. So if you have an LG Stylo 6 originally from Metro and like help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will also, will also allow you to be notified of every new video and service that we constantly add in the future, just like we're doing with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.